Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video series, Bogus Proofs. Um, this series will consist of proofs with mathematical fallacies. Each proof is going to lead to some absurd result, but it's going to do it in such a crafty or clever way that the reasoning is going to appear correct. The, the proofs are flawed, but the errors are subtle. You may be convinced by the proof, and your common sense may be threatened, but I assure you there is going to be an error in each proof. You just need to find it. So the first proof that we're going to show is 1 is the largest positive integer. We're going to let n stand for the largest positive integer. And since 1 is the largest positive integer, that means n must be less than or equal to 1. I'll multiply both sides by n, and we'll have n is less than or equal to n squared. And since n squared is a positive integer, and we said that n is the largest positive integer, that means that n squared is less than or equal to n. So if we have n squared is less than or equal to n, and n is less than or equal to n squared, that implies that n squared is equal to n. We'll divide both sides by n, and we'll see that n is equal to 1. Therefore, n is the Therefore, 1 is the largest positive integer. Well, I'm about to tell you where this proof went wrong, so you should pause the video if you want to figure out on, its own, on your own. So the proof, our steps, they are actually right. They're all logically sound and mathematical. The math is right. Where we went wrong is our statement. 1 is the largest positive integer. What this actually means is a largest positive integer exists and it's equal to 1. So our assumption is that false assumptions can lead to false conclusions. So it's really important when you're writing your math proofs that you make sure your assumptions are correct. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos in the Bogus Proof series. Uh, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.